Hi guys, today I will cover Škoda Octavia Xenon headlight. I will show you all parts consisting of the Xenon, this Xenon headlight, this uh, IFS type, AFS type Xenon headlight, that's to say it's an adaptive type Xenon headlight, and basically you will see all the parts consisting this headlight. In a way, this video is a repair guide for, for the Xenon headlights of Škoda Octavia MK3 from 2012. It's produced from December 2012 till uh, 2017. That's to say the pre-facelift Škoda Octavia MK3 models. Let me start. On the inner side, you will find your ballast unit, which is Mitsubishi Electric made with a part number A8K0-941597-1. e By the way, you can use also uh, other ballasts which uh, with the same part number, but at the end of, uh, instead of letter E, you can use also B, it's a Kubota made, but still it will fit. And then uh, there is a one version of the Mitsubishi Electric, even though it's with a completely different shape, but still it's completely interchangeable without any letter. 500 uh, ends with 597. And there, there is another uh, number, which is 597 and the letter C. All these... I think there are three or four types are interchangeable with this ballast unit. This ballast unit powers your low beam. If your xenon headlight is the bi-xenon type, it means that it powers your low beam and a high beam because your low beam bulb is at the same time your high beam bulb. And then let me show you your xenon bulb. It's D3S type Xenon bulb. Whether it's Osram or Philip, it doesn't matter. The thing is that you have to replace your burnout uh, Xenon bulb with the D3S type Xenon bulb. This is your Xenon bulb. And as stated, if your headlight is a bi Xenon one, it means that this Xenon bulb is both for the low beam and the high beam. At the side, I don't know whether you can see, but there is a uh, vertical adjustment motor. Vertical adjustment motor at side. Uh, in other words, it's called also servo motor. This uh, motor regulates your beam to, uh, to the up and down. And under the projector, you will see that there is another uh, motor. It's a horizontal type motor here. It is your adaptive type uh, mechanism. Basically, these servo motors pulls and pushes your uh, projector to the left or to the right. It's uh, this servo motor, the horizontal one, the adaptive uh, motor, works in synchron with your I. AFS Leistungs module, uh, which is located underneath your headlight. The black box is your AFS Leistung module. Basically, this commands your headlight projector. These modules give the commands to, to your servo motor, whether to uh, push the projector to the left or to the right, depending on your steering wheel position and uh, Again, it communicates with your main EQ lighting module, with your range adjustment module, and so on. This one, nothing to do with your low beam or high beam, as stated, it's only AFS module. Next to the AFS module, you will see that there is located another uh, module. This is for your daytime running lights. This is if if you don't have daytime run, you, you, if your daytime running light strip is not working, 
then it means either this strip itself is faulty or the uh, LED module is faulty uh, which is located again underneath your headlight. This LED module powers your uh, daytime running lights strip via LED bulb if you like. I will show you here. This is your LED bulb here. This is your LED bulb as you can see and exactly this this DRL module powers this bulb here and in turn the bulb inside this uh, aluminum uh, part is powering your daytime running light strip. By the way, I have to tell you that these two modules are completely interchangeable. Uh, the part number for this module is 4G0907397 ending with letter D. It's completely interchangeable with the 4G0907-697 again with the letter D. Only these two are interchangeable completely. The ending letter is very important by the way. There are a lot of other LED modules with uh, uh, exactly the same shape and plug configuration but they have different pins. They are not interchangeable, so just pay attention to purchase exactly one of these part numbers. By the way, I want to state also the part number of the AFS uh, module. It's 1T0-941-329. Ending with letter B. It should end with definitely with letter B, otherwise it will not feel, fit anyway to your uh, Skoda Octavia headlight. There are similar uh, AFS modules, which are also used at uh, other makes and models like Audi A4, A5, approximately the same uh, years, but they will not fit to your Skoda Octavia. It should fit, it, it should end exactly with letter B. Now we covered the ballast unit, we showed, we covered the AFS module, LED module. And let me show you the your by the way, let me show you the your xenon system in action. This is basically your low beam. Uh, the ballast unit is powering your D3S type xenon bulb, as you can see, which means that if you have a low beam failure. One of these two parts is faulty, given that your wiring uh, is okay and all the fuses are relays are in order. Let me show you. The, these uh, parts are exactly from the same headlight, as you can see. Here you have the vertical adjustment motor that. I showed you, it regulates your beam, your headlight projector, basically up and down, exactly this servo motor regulates this. And then you will notice that you have a halogen type, although long life bulb, halogen type bulb, this is for your indicator. Although it's a long life uh, bulb, uh, if it burns, you have to replace it and replacing this bulb is really a pain. The bulb type of this uh, indicator bulb is PWY24W. And in order to replace this uh, simple, uh, relatively cheap indicator bulb, you have to make an operation at your headlight. Here. Your indicator bulb is located at the side, as you can see. And if it burns out, it means that you have to replace it. But it's not a direct replacement. It needs additional, you, you need additional work to do. 
as you can see. Here there is a special opening which you have to cut with the with the knife, with the cutter, or with a uh, heat gun and a knife, but you have to cut this uh, round shape here. And then after replacing the indicator bulb, if you get the replacement of the indicator bulb, the by the way, the Skoda part number for the for this indicator bulb is N ten seventy seven sixty three. 02 you can source it from the Skoda dealers or from the online marketplace and then after op opening this uh, round shape here you will replace the bulb and then you will have to source also the cover this is the repair cover it uh, from ag again uh, from the Skoda dealers or wherever you can find this is a repair set for the turn signal. Then after replacing your indicator, you have to seal the, the hole with this repair set. Here you can see. Let me finally, let me show you also the part numbers of the covers. I will give you the part numbers of the uh, automotive lighting. 1, 305, 219, 122 is for the small one and you have the bigger one 1, 305, 219, 121 if someone wonders also the Skoda part numbers I can provide them later simply I don't have them right now printed let me think whether I have forgotten something. Yes, uh, the, maybe the last thing to mention is the parking line uh, bulb, parking bulb, side light bulb. This is the ordinary type W5W type, one of the oldest and the most common bulbs. You can find it in every gas station. It's really cheap. And I guess that's all for, for the replaceable uh, parts at this headlight. The next video will be for the troubleshooting of the uh, low beam. I will show you how to troubleshoot your low beam. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please help us to grow. All the best. Bye for now.